a big hello to all my dear students of class 10th who are busy preparing for their board examinations. As we all know, your board examinations are around the corner. Now, science being a prominent subject needs adequate preparation and utilization of your time wisely. So, through this video, I intend to give you some important tips of how to prepare your science paper for your exam. But before we proceed, let us first understand the pattern of your question paper. Your question paper will have three sections, A, B and C. Section A will comprise of one mark questions, which can have one word answers. It can have very short answer type questions or assertion reason based questions. Then section B will comprise of three mark questions. Each question can have three subdivisions with one mark each or it can have a single question with a weightage of three marks. Now, wherever the subdivisions are there, you need to answer those subdivisions separately. And wherever one question carries three marks, you'll have to give an explanatory answer to it and along with it, some equations, diagrams or relevant information. Then section C will comprise of five mark questions. Again, it can have five subparts with one mark each or it can have a division of say 3-2 or 2-2-1. As I already said, you will answer the questions depending upon the weightage. Now, how to prepare for your science exam? First and foremost thing, children, cover your syllabus completely. Read each and every line of your NCRT textbook. Remember, your question paper will be framed from the NCRT textbook. So don't lose, leave any stone unturned in your efforts of completing the syllabus. Read the book several times so that every nook and corner of the book you complete. Questions may pop out from any corner of your textbook. While you are reading the lessons, make sure that you write and learn. Writing will always enhance your memory. It will help you to internalize your concept. It will help you to develop a more understanding of the content that you are learning. Then, when you have learnt, when you have made short notes, when you have written the entire thing, make sure that you revise the syllabus again. Now, revision planning is an artist's task. But then let me tell you, if you make a proper revision plan, it will help you to utilize your time productively. So make a proper revision schedule and follow it sincerely. While you are revising, make short notes of all the important things that comes out of the content you will find that these small short notes will be very very handy and immensely helpful to you for your last minute preparation. Now science is all about diagrams, equations, reactions, numericals, derivations. So whenever you are practicing these, make a separate notebook for all these. So that whenever you are having a quick glance of the entire syllabus or a quick revision, this book small notebook of yours can be very very handy to you and immensely helpful. Once you have completed the syllabus and once you have gone through all the notes that you have prepared, start solving the sample papers. Now sample papers or the previous year question papers will be very very helpful to you to utilize your time effectively. You will understand time management, you will understand the type of questions that have been framed, you will understand how much weightage each question is carrying and how to answer. Then when you are stuck at a particular point, you can again come back to your learning and if you have missed any part of your textbook, you can again have a quick revision of it. So in all, these entire four steps followed by you will be very, very helpful. Make one important note of it, children. Please don't make a pile of books in front of you. It is often seen that students pile up books, branded new books which are untouched till the end of the session with no effective academic performance. As I told you in the beginning of the video, remember your question paper will be framed from the NCRT textbook. So please read each and every line of your NCRT textbook several times. For science paper, you make it very sure unless and until you internalize the concept, unless and until you write and learn, things will not be very very easy for you. You will gain confidence only when you read the book several times, when you write and learn. Finally, eat well. Sleep well, keep yourself calm and relaxed. 
spend your time in the morning for meditation or yoga you will find that it will re-energize you it will rejuvenate you for rest of all the activities throughout the day so have a great time ahead i will wish you all the best for your preparations first and of course if your preparation is done well your performance will be outstanding thank you all for watching this video